Good day everybody and welcome back to the Victorian Double Fronted Build. I've just got to adjust my chair a minute, hold on. There we go, that's better. Anyway, we're starting off here in MC Edit because quite a lot of work today is actually going to be done in MC Edit. Um, if you've got World Edit, you can use that too. But we're going to begin by putting in the ceiling. Now the ceiling sits at a level uh, which is just above your window height here. So I'm talking about this one here. So if you count up six, I think it is one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, that's where your ceiling is going to go. So I'm into the next house here. Uh, we can just do this. Let's just check that that's going to fill a house full of ceiling. <laughs> that sounds like something else then. Never mind. Damn blast. I've got a couple of mouth ulcers today. It's going to make it slightly difficult for me to speak. That's why I'm doing this now. Um, so that when they get worse, I don't have to make a video. So yeah, we want to put the quartz ceiling in there. And directly on top of that, so if we just, I'm just going to get my uh, thing back here. I'm going to nudge this up by one. Um... We're going to fill this with dark oak wood planks. And there we have the floor done. And it should come up to just underneath the window frames which you built on the inside. We'll fill in these gaps um, ourselves, well manually. But before we quit this, um, I think we have to put in the ceiling. Um, again, very, very easy. We need to count up six. One, two, three three, four, five, six, and on the seventh, that's where we're going to position the ceiling. Uh, I've gone into the other house again. Oh, rats. This is where it gets slightly difficult because I have to... Uh, I've got to guess how big the ceiling is. Um, of course, if I have well it, this would not be a problem. Because um, you can actually sort of set the positions just exactly where they are but unfortunately in single player I think there's only a I forget what it's like but I've, I have never used it I've never used it and I thought well it's not going to be worth changing my methods halfway through a video again it's just quartz um, oh that's odd it didn't fill oh I didn't fill it that's why whoops oh well yeah forgive me I'm a bit a bit tired today I've been very busy these past few days. So we'll save that progress. Um, and now it's just a matter of filling in the walls downstairs. And for this, we're going to have to hop over into actual Minecraft. So see you on the flip side. Okay, here we are. We're, um, we are back inside our house. And our first uh, duty is to fill in the gaps here. Um, just as we've filled in our ceiling so we're going to lay down the quartz first like so very easy and then the dark oak wood planks you don't have to use these materials by the way it's not set in stone if you'll pardon the uh, slight pun you can um, vary from let's I like to think my let's builds aren't rigid I mean yes I'm teaching you how to build something essentially this is a tutorial however I don't I th would like to think that you're creative enough to make changes to make this thing better or to suit your needs or the needs of the town you're building this in or or just, just things like that I mean it's a creative game for goodness sake um, use your creativity if your excuse is you're not, you don't have creativity I don't believe it everyone's got a little bit of creativity right just some people are absurdly good Ignore those people. And just focus on yourself. Of course, we'll fill in these gaps. I'm not going to do it, honestly. You you, you can you can place blocks. You've been playing this game for a, a while. Um, the way I've done this, I have left a sort of awkward gap in the ceiling up here. And I suppose if you've been following me to the T, then you'll have had this in here as well. So just fill that in like so. Um, we are trapped upstairs now. Um... But we're gonna come we're gonna go down here because we need to uh, put the um 
What's that called? The walls. We need to put the walls and the floor plan in. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the um, chiseled, stand, chiseled sandstone here and just place it all over the red wool here. And I'm talking all, and I mean all over it. Just cover it. Yeah. I was about to make an exception then before I realised I was an idiot. Um, so we're just going to do this like this. Um, there is another way to do this. Um, actually, no, there isn't. I don't think there is another way. There probably is a there probably is a much quicker way to do this, but never mind. Uh, replace this bit here on the stairs like so. Uh, this could take a while. Um, do 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. Do 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 do. Um, and I. think I think we're going to have to go into MC Edit again after this, but I want to do a few more things before we do that. I don't want to keep jumping backwards and forwards between the two programs. It'll get confusing. Right, so there we go. We've done that. Now, what you should want to do is place the chiseled sandstone all around the top as well. Yeah, it seems a bit arduous, but um, I think the best thing to do here... I, do, I don't want to do this because it'll take absolutely ages but what you should and you, you could do is just copy the floor plan and um, just copy the floor plan and paste it onto the ceiling because that would that would, that would be the same effect I'm not going to do it because I'm going to do things a slightly more long-winded way that will hopefully be clearer and easier to follow right so we've done that I'm not going to re retrace the floor plan obviously but I'll, I'll get to that later but what we are going to do because I'm using MC Edit, I'm going to have to place a few blocks. I'm going to place one here and one in this corner. And I'm going to place one here and one in this corner. Like so I think that's it. Yep, that's it. That's great. Lovely. You'll see the reasoning for that later. Oh, hang on a minute. We've missed this bit here. Right. Now you've done that, we're going to, we're going to build the stairs. Now, it's just the stairs are already here. They've been here for quite a long time. So all we have to do is just, oh gosh, grab some quartz and begin the stair beginning and begin air, begin the staircasing process right until we get up to the ceiling like so. And then it's just about punching a hole in the ceiling and seeing how big we want the hole to be. So I'm going to punch a hole in the ceiling. Of course, we need to go up a little higher because of where the floor is. But here we go. Job done. Um, now, once you've done that, we're going to try and mark out the floor plan. I've chosen a really dead simple floor plan for this. Um, essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this window is in the center of a room. So we can see we've got three blocks here. Well, and it becomes two when we put the wall in. So our next wall, obviously, is going to be here. I'm using quartz for this. But we get to the front window, and it's, it doesn't quite line up, does it? So, halfway across the house, there has to be a division. And I think a convenient place to make the division is probably going to be up here, around here somewhere, where we have our stairs emerging. So what I'm going to do is count two blocks here and place a wall across, like this. Just, just extend it to be level with the edge of the uh, window here. And we're going to move this wall backwards. Sorry, uh, we're going to move this wall here to this position thus making this window in the center of this room. Now it's just about dividing the two up. What we could do to make things really easy is add a wall here, like so. And we can say that this here will now be a closet belonging to this room here. And we're free to divide this section here in half as we see fit. I think that would probably be better. So we're going to add the walls in here. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to do with MC Edit. 
um, because I've used quartz. In fact, let's not use quartz at all. Let's, let's change back to chiseled sandstone, shall we? I'm not sure why I didn't do that in the first place. I need to replace all of this with chiseled sandstone. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to add a wall in here, like so. Oh, dear. And we need to add in another wall here, like so. Do, do, do. If you're not a sucker for symmetry, like I am, then you can place these walls wherever you wish, really. Uh, what's the distance over there? It's two, isn't it? So it's one, two. It should be here. And rather conveniently, this has given us a layout which looks something, something like, I can't get up above it because of the ceiling, but hopefully you can see what that looks like. Now, we need to be able to enter this room from here, so our wall cannot be here. It's got to be at least here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide um, these up. I'm going to divide along this margin. No, no sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to divide along this margin here. But I'm going to add in some, like, one, two, three, four. I'm going to add in a couple of rooms in the middle like this. So let's just divide down the middle like so. That's not the middle. That's the middle. There we go. And so we've given each room now its own little ensuite. So we can say this one will belong to this room here. So we'll punch a door in here and then we can punch a door in here like so. Um, ignore the shape of that. <laughs> And then we can just simply reflect it, well, mirror it on the other side, like so. Um, but on this side, both of these rooms are going to belong to this one here, because it's going to be our master bedroom. This is where things get a little bit tricky, um, because now we need to use this space here, and it's quite large. So what I think we should do is we have a two wide walkway around the entire thing but we need to leave space for obviously um, our railings which will sit on the third block but unfortunately pardon me they're going to be a different color they're going to be um, sandstone so we need to get rid of the wood and the quartz here so keep deleting like this um, and then we can just sort of take out this bit here and then we need to find the stairs, so our railings will sit on this block here, so we need to get rid of it, like so. And then just sort of get rid of everything else that's left in the centre here. So you should be left with a huge gaping hole in here, like so. This, do not be alarmed, this is fine. And I've actually made a small mistake, we need to leave the quartz here. We actually need to leave the quartz here. Like so. Phew. Job done. That should be a layout. Now I'm just going to replace everything, all the uh, quartz here with uh, chiseled sandstone. You'll see why in a little late, in a little while, in a little later. What an idiot. Um, yeah. So I'll do this off camera, and then um, it'll be back into MC Edit for what hopefully should be the final action of this let's build. Okay, um, we're back in MC Edit, and this is going to sound, well, this is going to be a little bit complicated. You've obviously got the walls here. What you should do now is copy the um, chiseled sandstone pattern from the floor onto the ceiling. And then what I want you to do is, of course, fill all the walls. This is a hugely arduous process, and I'm not going to do it now, so I'm just going to do this wall here as an example. So I'm going to pull my selection box into the right shape. Um, and then we're going to fill, but we're going to fill with a very special material. If we select sandstone, you'll notice here that I've got this double slab seamless option. Now this is basically a sandstone block that's completely flat in texture. And if we click fill, we can see the wall is now full of it and it looks really quite good. Now what I want you to do here is I want you to do this for every 
single wall downstairs. And then once you've done that, every single wall upstairs. I'm going to briefly hop over to this one here. This one's already been done. Um, and I've added a few uh, door decorations as well. That can be your choice. I did those last night and thought they looked absolutely awful. And I thought, well, they look better without them. But as you can see here, chiseled on the bottom, chiseled on the top, and the seamless double slabs making up the wall texture all over. It is worth noting there is a small sort of mistake in this let's build. There is a block here, specifically this chiseled sandstone here, which is directly, well, it's not directly in line with, but it's sort of pretty much in line with the center column of your rear window. Um, it shouldn't be here. So while we're here, just get rid of it. Now, um, oh dear, there's going to be wool under there, isn't there? Now what I'm going to do is on the original build, I am going to go upstairs and I'm going to fill all the walls with uh, the, seam the seamless stones. And then, well, things are pretty much going to be over, but we need to work a little bit on the stairwell. Now, what you want to do in the stairwell is you see you have this sort of ring of quartz around here. Um, the best way to do this is a series of selection boxes, I think. Unless you have well loaded, in which case, you lucky sod, you can do it easy. And it's just a case of filling these with the seamless blocks. Okay, I got that wrong there. Hold on a second. Fill that. Job done. Match that up one. And fill. Where's the fill? There it is. Fill. Come on. There we go. And then you can place, well, you can place whatever you desire on there, really. I'm just going to do one thing a minute. I'm just going to fill in the uh, corners here because I think that's one of the things I needed to do last time. Uh, this will become, my reasoning will become clear in a minute. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There we go. And of course, remember to fill in all the walls as well. I'm going to do that now off camera. And then I'm going to come back. Oh, wait, no, hang on a minute. Um, I didn't tell you how to... I'll go over to the other one. I've lost so much motivation with this Let's Build. I'm so sorry. The quality of this has deteriorated so massively, but I just can't face another Let's Build of this. And I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video. Essentially what this is, is a huge wall of this, this seamless stuff was created here, then cut down to the size of the staircase. Um, these the blocks level with the stairs were replaced with chiseled, and then anvils were placed on top. Over here, I accidentally deleted some of the seamless, the seamless stuff, so I just need to put that back. Right, anyway, I'll put the walls in here. And I'll see you in just a bit. All right, everybody, here it is. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's, well, it's sort of done. It's mostly done. My ulcer's really hurt. But let's take a look inside, shall we? I have started experimenting with lighting systems. As you can see here, I've got a sort of weird double-decker chandelier sort of thing going on. Wired into a um, ceiling rose at the very top here. Um, I did fiddle around with, um, sort of, I forget, I'm not sure what you call them, but these door decorations, but in retrospect, they look absolutely awful, and I want to get rid of them. Um, upstairs, I added sort of anvil railings all around here, um, so you can get over here, which isn't the master in this one, actually, it's just a regular room in this one, didn't didn't really know that um, but yeah this is what you should have ended up with this is incidentally the master in this one um, I'm briefly going to show you some ceiling decoration I did in the downstairs which I'm very happy with um, it's just it's just slabs I think yeah it's just quartz slabs um, I'm not sure why I've gone all the way to the ceiling all the way to the coving there 
don't really want to do that. I like to have that thing on display. Also, it's really hurt. But yeah, um, I might decorate this place. I might not. I don't really know at this point. I'm quite frankly sick of the sight of this thing, and just want it to be over. So, I th and I think that did come across in especially the latter of the episodes. I really did just want this to be over. I took on far more than I could actually handle with this let's build. I thought it was going to be a nice easy way in um, to ease myself back into the let's build sort of way of life. But I've taken two things from this. One, a build on this level of complexity just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. If you're going to be building this sort of thing in a let's build, you might as well be building it live on like a live stream or something because building it first and building it again, it just doesn't work. I've learned that much. With the bungalow, ooh, frame drop, with the bungalow over here, this was one of the better let's builds because it looks complicated, but it really, really isn't. This looks complicated and is complicated. It's just absurd. I think this is probably the last of the big sort of classical builds. I mean, by classical, I mean brick builds from me. And also, the last Let's Build of the Year. Right, whilst you watch me be bad at Gario, um, I have a message. This is a re-recording of the original message because I didn't think it was very considered. Essentially, the gist of what I said is, this is going to be the last Let's Build of the year, but it may also be, eh, it may also be the last Let's Build ever. I really haven't enjoyed doing this build, and for something that um, doesn't get a lot of views or doesn't really do anything for me, that's kind of a bit of a kick in the teeth. It's kind of made me realize this entire operation is a bit of a waste of time. So where does that leave me? Well, I still enjoy building, um, as evidenced by the huge number of work in progress builds you see in this world. I still do enjoy building. I just don't enjoy making the let's builds because there's so much effort on top of something which I already enjoy. The only reason I finished this series is because I felt a duty to the people who'd started the build. And I wanted them, I didn't want to leave them hanging again, like I'd done so many times in the past. 23 minutes, good grief. Don't want to go any longer than 24, really. Got to make this quick. And my mind just goes blank immediately. Oh, oh, duh. But anyway, yeah. Might this might have been the last let's build I ever do because it's making me not enjoy something which I'm supposed to enjoy and isn't really doing anything for me at all ever. I have other ideas which I'd like to focus on besides this. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna flat out say I'm not gonna make any more videos. There are thing there is a video series which I still want to do. I want to replace the um how to build good series because it was terrible and I hate it and I think I've made one which is a whole bunch better or at least scripted one that's a whole bunch better I've yet to actually record it anyway <coughs> nice Christmas belch there um, so yeah if this is the last let's build um, yeah I don't know that's kind of a melancholy way to end end the video really I mean no one's going to care no one watches these stupid things anyway um, so yeah Am I admitting defeat? Eh, sort of. But if you don't enjoy something, just stop doing it. This is what YouTube's supposed to be about, doing something you enjoy. And right now, I don't enjoy this. So therefore, I'm going to stop. Either way, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.